All right, we got a coil to do today. This micro channel coil is leaking. So we're going to get it out of here and get a new one in. I don't think I was the one that diagnosed this one, but it's leaking somewhere. So let's get it. As you can see, it's still got plenty of charge left in it. So we're gonna have to recover this baby down. That sucks. It's not been leaking too bad. I don't even see where the hell it was leaking at. Maybe up in here. It's usually where they fail at here. Here, I don't know. All right. All right, we got her pumping. She's pumping quick, actually. Let her pump. All right, she is down, actually to negative, but I think the gauge might be a little off. So now we're just gonna start disassembling. I got a couple different jobs going on in this same, uh, this same complex today, but we're going to probably pop this top all the way off. I'm thinking, yeah, that might be the easiest. <laughs> yeah, pop that top all the way off. At least get it loose, we'll see. All right, top and corners came off really easy. So now we'll just unscrew it in a couple spots, cut the pipe in, and then this old one will come off. Pretty simple stuff. Got it loose, so she's ready to come out. Not sure if we're gonna get these feet with the new one. Let's take them off. Some of the coils coming with it. <laughs> might actually be where it's leaking at. Wow. I'll show you guys in a minute. Check this out. That came right off. Crazy. All right, we gotta get the new one up here without damaging it. Little platform right there, we'll set it on, we'll tie it off, lift her up. We have an audience. <laughs> what is a key cat? without busting the coil up. It's only like 75 degrees out here, but I'm sweating my ass off. Ooh. Put her 
back on. I might need to take both the tracks off and I already bent this thing up. Yeah, I'm gonna need these also. This and this. All right, so I had to modify these brackets. I had to cut that one and cut that one. Not as much modifying with this one, but I did have to cut some of the plastic. So hopefully everything lines up and we're good. Let's try this again. We line up okay now. So the panels screw in on this side. So I won't know if this lines up until I put the panels back on. Hopefully it does. We shall see. Alright, let me get a couple screws in it so that way I know it's it's there. Around here on this side, we'll get those couple screws in. It's those shipping brackets that they that mess everything up. They weld these little shipping brackets on the new coil that the old coil doesn't have, so your brackets don't fit around them with those there. So I cut them off, or I broke them off, those little guys there, they go on right right there. So I, I broke them off to get more, more space. So, <clears throat> that's where I'm at with that. This looks a little crooked though, so I might have to modify this a little more maybe cut a little slit out of this metal here here and here so it'll push back better or maybe bend it out some i don't know we'll have to just see how the panels try to fit on all right it's in there though one screw started at the bottom here that might have to come back out two screws over here she's solid we're gonna put the brackets and all back on um then I'm going to have to get my swedging kit because these new ones don't come swedged. We'll swedge this on. Either a swedge or a coupling. Probably a swedge. This one does come swedged. So I'll push that back. So I will only have to uh, swedge the half inch. This should pull down into there. I got a new filter dryer for it too. Alright, we're going to unsweat this filter dryer now. I don't want to waste a whole lot of pipe here. Sorry, I had to set the phone down to get it off there. Uh, so then I'm going to put the new filter dryer on. I'm going to unsweat this piece also. And then uh, that'll pop right back in there. We'll be in business. I typically don't like reusing or um, unsweating stuff, but I got to do what I got to do. Oh, and we are flowing nitro, by the way. So, just in case anybody out there was wondering. All right, we got it all brazed in. 
one, two, three, four brace joints. We're gonna put some pressure on her and see if she holds. I got about 158 on her, nothing's hissing, so that's a good sign. Gonna fill her up to about 400, 450, something like that. Looks like she settled out around 424 or so. We'll leave it for a while, see what happens. Eh, not too bad. I think we went up a little bit actually, so we're good. All right, we got the vacuum going. We got the lid back on. Just keep this tight, we'll be all right. Keeps on wanting to back out. Down to about 386. Let it pull for a while. Probably go to lunch. All right, not bad. Got her down to 202. All right, and then 548 with the pump off, 551. That's not bad for a service vacuum. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I got her back on now. Just turned it on. Not sure if I even have a call. I probably do. Right, we're gonna let her, let her start up here and see what happens. All right, let's see what we got. high on the sub cooling but our suction line temperature is not there yet we'll still let it go for a while it's hard for you guys to see this the sub cooling or uh, the super heat still high that sub cooling really doesn't scare me that much because I think we have a piston in here what happens might add a little more I don't even have the full charge in here yet it takes six I only got five and a, a third I think five pounds three ounces something like that scale cut off five pounds six ounces so all right looking pretty good put a little over six pounds in it six pounds almost five ounces I got everything to line up too. 